we were in episode 18, first class mage exam. I forgot we were going to this test. Free when having to get a license feels like Kalua's second hunter exam, but like way, way more than that. Clearly, she does not. Fern underestimates herself because her benchmark is Freerun. Stark's similar as well. Like, if, you're, if your teachers are party members of the great team of heroes that defeated the Grand Demon, you're probably always going to feel like you're lagging. Also, that feeling itself can be a sign of mastery. It kind of goes in stages. Speaking specifically about things for which there's no limit to what you can learn about them, probably anything involving creativity, art, ideas, etc. Once you get to a certain amount of mastery, you realize you'll always be small. But I can't recall a single time where we haven't seen Fern absolutely crush it, except for maybe when she was emotionally compromised. That's not about her magic ability. What is the certification to someone like Freerun, honestly? Yeah, it's the last dungeon. You gotta be sufficiently leveled. Boy, we could really use sign. The thing is, it's a test, so there might be ways in which it's a little bit perverted from what actually matters in life and the way for you and we'll, we'll use magic. It's kind of like how in school, we use grades as a way of testing knowledge, but the grade is not the knowledge. You can get a high grade with no knowledge and you can get a low grade with extremely high knowledge. I was an economics major in university and economics is still kind of like a passing interest of mine. I think I have a decent level of understanding of it for a normal person. But if you ask me now to go back and do some of the exams I took in college, some of the math and stuff, I have no chance whatsoever. It would be an instant fail. <laughs> My anti-school sentiment is going to come up in this arc. I can feel it. Some wounds cut deep. For figuring it was yesterday. And Fern underboob shot. And Fern's boobs continue to be in the shot. Bisky's A, B, C, D skill comes to mind. Very telling that she keeps track of that too. She knows exactly how many and who. I mean, there are so many things that cause variance. All the things Freerun mentioned, but then also circumstance. Matchups play a big role. How much sleep they each got that night. Also, I think that one thing that's been established about Freerun is that she's a really naturally talented, extremely powerful mage. But it's not fighting that she finds the the joy and magic in fact it seems like the fighting and the battling the deception for the sake of destroying demons is the part of magic that wears on her hence why she may have changed her answer from i love magic to magic is okay or whatever freewin wants to make fields of flowers and turn foods into other foods <laughs> and see through people's clothing. She doesn't necessarily want to be blasting holes in people. And also, I think the nature of your relationship with learning a thing sometimes changes with increased specification of the application of the thing. If you're using a skill for a very specific output, a lot of the, the general things you might learn in, say, a survey class would become vestigial. Either you never learn them or your skills would sort of dull over time. A personal example for me is I use Photoshop on a daily basis. My knowledge of Photoshop is very, very specific to exactly the type of thumbnails that I make. I can make my very specific style of thumbnails very quickly and very well. And that's all I can do, because that's what I learned it for. Oh, we're switching characters, that's interesting. Yeah, one of the most interesting things about this upcoming arc is I want to see the other mages. This is going to bring out some characters. Okay. Oh, look who it is. I want to know Craft's story. I want to know the whole story. Is this Craft or is it just a dwells just look alike? ありがとう。助かったよ。私は魔法使いユーベル。ユーベル。I was wondering if she was a demon at first. I rescued them. Yeah. Yeah. 
Their paths will cross. Was it, are you leaving already? Damn, crap, this guy cannot stick around more than five seconds. Hunter exam begin. begins. Wait, you gotta take an exam to take the exam? Do we have that? Oh, I understand Freeman so well, though. I would not, I don't know. I would not have the patience. Sometimes time is more valuable than money. Pride is more valuable than money. But snacks. Bro, can, can you can I, name drop for once? Just do it for once. It's me, the one, the mage who saved the world? Can I just get an automatic one? Like some of the, like some celebrities who get those honorary degrees? Even the honor exam, the, the craziest, most wild system ever allows honorary licenses. Surely Freerun would get one. And if she doesn't, it's like everything I feared and hate about all of this. I like how we went to a flashback for the emblem and it doesn't explain the emblem. We need to flashback in the flashback. Aside from my overwhelming magical power. Yes, thank you. Right. Yes. <laughs> Oof. Yes. Thank you. I know I'm going to love this arc because in general, exam arcs are such a good way of bringing out interesting things in characters and introducing new characters, exploring the, the magical system more, which to this point has been excellent. But like, <laughs> I just have an axe to grind. I have a chip on my shoulder about school, so it just bothers me to think that Freeman has to prove anything to anyone. I think at a certain point of mastery of something, isn't the goal to not care about like the, the label of are, am I a good mage or am I a bad mage? Am I good at this? Am I bad at this? You're just wrapped up in the pursuit of the thing and that brings you joy. And yeah, part of that will probably include a humility of knowing there's always more to learn and you'll never touch the bottom but that's okay like not only is it okay it's probably great because you know it's like endless joy and even if you really want people's approval which you know i can understand can be nice it can be a nice feeling to be recognized if you get to a certain height of skill who is even around to to give you approval i think maybe the wanting to be recognized for something the wanting approval is a different thing from the art itself actually come to think of it i think this scene gets it right because whose admiration is more valuable than fern and starks <laughs> That is incredibly small. Wow, that's wild. I kind of think of it, I feel like there are maybe a lot of parallels with the Hunter license. Yeah, it makes sense. There's a lot more demand. Star can finally take it easy. <laughs> Hey, much deserved rest. He's probably still doing like the shopping and cooking and stuff though. That training montage looked awfully pleasant. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I was underestimating a little bit. The murderer, Yubel. This is the Hunter exam. Is she allowed to just retake it? Yeah, she's suppressing it. It's funny that he said the old mage thing too. Yeah, definitely some veterans in the group. Does that make Yubel like the Soka? I'm oh, sorry, I can't. I can't not think of this as the Hunter exam. I can't not see the parallels. This will be a really, really great insight into what actually they expect from mages, what it means to be a mage. Yes, it is. Yeah. Definitely testing for the ability to join a, a team or a squad. I'm sure Freerun will blend in gracefully as she always does. Freerun, not the problem. Oh, they're on the same team. I feel like these are, these are two are setting up to be rivals. A destined meeting. I felt big, even though it was just hello. 
明日の日没までにシュティレの入ったカゴを所持していることその時点でパーティーメンバー全員が揃っていることだ。Which means they have to be alive and not kill each other。危険区域の外側に出た者がいた場合は、その所属パーティー全員を、oh, that... で失格処分。Oh my god, imagine losing that way, that would suck so bad。まずは作戦を立てるべきだって。<笑>バカかお前、見つけないことには作戦の立てようがねえだろうが。<笑>まだ喧嘩してる。We don't have a hammer, Freeran. とりあえず歩きながら自己紹介しない。フリーウェンに言われマスターを、handling、like,、in their party squabbling。Only sign was here。私はフリーレン。よろしくね。ラビーネ、サンキュー魔法使いだ。Oh, only you knew how lucky you were. ダンネだよ。同じくサンキュー魔法使い。ラビーネとは幼馴染みで、同じ魔法学校の出身だよ。そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、そう、ああ、Or fish or flowers. <laughs> I just stay out of the woods in general. Are we looking for birds? Oh, there's a mana presence coming from the, from the ceiling, from the sky. Stay there. <laughs> Don't move. Oh, surely. Oh, you didn't listen. Levine? Damn it, Levine. Oh,、uh, yeah, so they actually. Are a great team. <laughs> strong as hell. They got a lot of experience. Yeah. Maybe it's a little bit too close. I mean, it's encouraging that they're competitive at least. They really care. <laughs> But yeah, this exam so far speaks to what I was saying about how being an ultimate mage does not necessarily guarantee passing. And even this first round is very specific to something Freerun has been working on, which is her relations with others. It does end up being relevant. And given the journey so far, it seems like being able to handle children is a very important part of the job. <laughs> I just can't stop going at it 24-7. Freeman is the kind of person to think she has to handle everything on her own. I feel like I've, I've come across people like this that have the quality Freeman has where she'll see a problem for the group and she'll just silently, wordlessly try to take care of it on her own without letting the group know, which is a noble thing and a kindness from that specific perspective, but ends up getting misunderstood. And I mean, I would argue not holding that perspective ends up being suboptimal. We've seen that before. Like we've seen Himmel chastise Freeman for trying to do things alone. I tend to think that open communication, talking about things, giving people full information. And letting them make their own choices is better than sort of this independent, I'll manage everything on my own. I understand people's emotions well enough to make decisions for them, kind of thing, even if it's done nominally for the purpose of their safety. There's some threat here that f r e e r n is sensing and probably is going after. <gasps> oh, I thought she just got got. We got you got force powers? That's a mage thing. Right, there it is. I also feel like Firin could have captured the other bird, the little strong orange bird that they're after, anytime she wanted to. You gotta work on your mana detection, girl. That's not it. Nah, at least it's not the whole story. Oh, that's so sad and cute. When does the nicest begin? Is the nicest in the room with us now? <laughs> the walking continues. Or I just said she'd be nice. What are you gonna cry now? <laughs> Oh, okay. There was something in there somewhere. Oh, it's like that, huh? <laughs> That's how she learned to fly. The look of joy on her face, unbridled joy. I almost got wet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how she feels, but I'm starting to like Levine. Just fun. Shutire, Kantani, Toraira, Rukum. 
How? What I want to read into this is that Freerun actually doesn't care about this exam still. I mean, she's participating in it. She'll probably do her best. She'll probably get licensed, though she may not, as a result of her not really caring. But that this actually means something to her, this relationship with the two girls and developing mages. That's something we know of her. We know Freerun values that highly, and she loves potential. And she connects deeply, even if it's not super emotive in the way she approaches students. She does really, really deeply care and has a, a strong emotional connection and understanding to them. For me, for free run, the stakes here feel less like the exam and more like the two girls are introducing. And there's something really cool about that, given free run's character, how she's this introvert. We've seen her just disappear for, you know, decades, centuries maybe, not wanting to handle others. For her to have this warmth emerge for people, there's a, a really amazing future for her in that, you know? It's one of those things where sometimes your greatest weaknesses end up becoming your strengths. There are so many beautiful ways the show could go, but one of them that comes to mind, Freerun after this journey with Vernon Star could like turn her life towards service of young mages, you know? Uh, it's a good fit. I, just, I don't know, it just came to mind. She's not a natural at it, but she's good at it because I think she cares and understands so well. I've thought and talked a lot about methodology in videos. I really do think for a lot of things, if the right underpinning, emotional underpinning, mental underpinning is there, the method, the strategies will kind of sort themselves out naturally because you're you're being honest, you're listening carefully, you're observing because you have a very clear dedicated goal, which is just like, let's make this thing good. Let's do the right thing. And you follow your nose towards that goal and adapt accordingly from moment to moment, following that internal pull and radar and conscious. And so it ends up working out a lot of the time, even if you weren't naturally predisposed to having those gifts. There's so much good free we can do in service to others. It's cool to think that this might be the beginning of her journey in that way.